everybody, this is Dr. Ben Lim, and today we have such a special program because we have so many anointed prophets that have gathered for this. And who here knows that a genuine prophetic word or a genuine prophetic anointing is rare in these days, like it says in the book of Samuel, that it was rare in those days. And I believe right now God is releasing a rare anointing. You don't want to miss this, okay? So I want you to begin to like and share and tag your friends because this broadcast is going to be loaded with the, the grace, the glory, the anointing of God. And I just want to introduce our guest speakers and friends today. We have Dr. Hakeem Collins. God bless you, man of God. Welcome. Blessings, Dan. I'm glad to be on with most of you guys that familiar faces. Praise God. And of course, we have Dr. Naeem Collins. God bless you, man of God. God bless you, Dr. Ben. So honored to be on with you and all of the prophets that's on this broadcast. God bless you. Praise the Lord. And of course, we have Prophet Jesse and Amy Schapp with us all the way from Tennessee. God bless you and welcome. Yes, uh, Prophet Ben, bless you. It's wonderful to be on here. We're glad to be here. Wow, well, this is going to be such a powerful broadcast because there is a now word for you. And something happens. It's called synergy and synchronization when all of us come together. And uh, I believe this broadcast is going to bless you. So I want you to share, share, share. But also, before I turn the tables over to Dr. Hakeem as he starts us off, listen, I believe you need to come to this conference. It is literally in about a week and a half time. Uh, it's called Open Heavens Prophetic Voices from February 9th to the 13th in Southern California. Whether you need to drive in, fly in, swim in, crawl in, or whether you need to teleport in, whatever is your method of transportation, you need to be here or register for the private online group community. It's going to be such a blessing. But listen, there's something God is doing and saying in this hour. And Dr. Hakeem, I want to hear from you, man. God, what is God saying, speaking to you specifically for this year and what's about to come? Hey, well, amen. It's an honor to be on this platform. And I need everyone that has not registered to come register because I believe that in this season and what God is saying for this moment, he spoke to me concerning out of Isaiah 22, 22. And he began to show me that in that passage of scripture, it talks about that the keys were laid upon the shoulders, upon the house of David, and that God will open doors that no man can shut, and he will shut doors that no man can open. And so what the Lord is saying in this season is that not only that we're coming into a time of open heavens, according to even this conference that you're going to attend, but he is saying that there's keys that is released to the body of Christ. There are keys that will begin to unlock perpetual doors. These are the days where God is releasing strategies and insight and revelation and wisdom. And I believe if you come to this conference, you're going to experience open heaven. You're going to experience revelation. There's going to be prophetic words, prophetic utterance, miracles, signs, and wonders. Whenever the heavens are open, there's, there's God's presence and his glory that is released. Wealth is released. Insight is released. And the intel of God is being released to many. So I believe in this season where God is saying that there are keys, not just one key, but there's keys to the kingdom to advance his purposes in the earth. And we're going to see great things begin to manifest. And so he showed me Isaiah 22, 22. This is the season of unlocking. Whenever there's keys released, they're not just keys released to anybody. These are uh, keys that are released to people that are not just keys that are, are key holders, but God is also, Jesus is the door. Door. And so we need the key to a door. And I believe that we're going to experience a, a, a supernatural unlocking. I heard in the spirit unlocking. This is a season that we're going to hear unlocking testimonies of, of miracles, uh, testimonies of people getting their breakthrough, testimonies of deliverance and, and supernatural things begin to re be released. And I'm also sensing that there's going to be those who are business owners, entrepreneurs, those who are called to uh, different sectors of society, the seven mountains of society. There's going to be keys for your nation, keys of salvation, keys of breakthrough, keys that are being released. And you have to know that not only keys have the ability to unlock things, but there have been those who have lost vision, have lost their way, who have lost um, their passion and ministry. I believe that these keys that are being released in this moment is going to unlock a wealth of revelation of who you are, your identity, and that I believe there's a conversion is coming together, that the mantles are coming together. There's a clusters of anointing that are coming together because you 
you are key to the region and the territory and the nation that God has called you to. You are a key leader. You are a key component to what God is doing in the earth. So I believe that if you come to this conference in February 9th to the 13th, you're going to experience unusual levels of breakthrough and miracles like never before because Isaiah 22 is being your portion. It's going to be laid upon your shoulders at the body of Christ. We're going to experience open heaven experiences like never before. Wow, praise God. And, uh, you know, I'm so in agreement with the word prophet because, of course, it is an Isaiah 22, 22, it's 2022 20, year, which you said is unlocking. And I want everybody to say unlock because God is about to open up, unlock doors, gates that you've been waiting for for such a long time. And this has to do with the end times harvest and a great transference of wealth. And I'm in agreement with everything that you've said. And, uh, you know, it's almost like, you know, we've been uh, in the same notebook with pen and pad together because we're hearing the voice of God. But God is doing something supernatural where you're going to be the head and not the tail. And God is shifting things. It's not about opposition. It's actually about opportune times. Cairo. So God is shifting things in your favor. I want to turn the table over to your incredible brother, your twin brother, actually, Dr. Naeem. We're so blessed to have the twin prophets with us in Southern California. There really is a double double Isaiah 2222, 22, 22, 22 anointing. So, Dr. Naeem, what is the Lord saying and sharing it to you in this hour? Amen. Again, thank you for all of those that are watching this broadcast. And we want to. Uh, encourage all of you to come to the Open Heavens Conference because I believe there is a word for you. Uh, Pastor Ben, the Lord really began to speak to me, and even as my brother had shared, that we are surely in an Isaiah 22 and 22 season uh, where we are going to begin to see open doors. Um, and as this conference speaks about open heavens, and so the Lord began to speak to me and said, God is um, raising up leaders that will be key um, to this unlocking. But the Lord also spoke to me even concerning Acts 2 and 22. And the Lord says that in this season, I'm raising up men and women, and there is going to be a conversion of anointings together, a cluster of anointings um, that is going to begin to come to the forefront of what God is about to do and what God is doing. And the Lord says that many will be key to this new shift and this great harvest that is coming. And so according to Acts 2 and 22, we begin to see that Jesus was attested with miracles, signs, and wonders. And so we, we're going to begin to see that as the heavens are opening unto us, uh, we're going to access. And so the Lord began to say that uh, that those that is going to experience miracles, signs, and wonders is going to happen through key leaders and key people that is going to be instruments to be helped to introduce this. And so the Lord said in this hour, not only are we going to receive keys, but the Lord says, yes, not only is he going to open the heavens, but we're going to be key to open heavens and allow others to access what God wants to release in the earth. And so as you were talking about, Pastor Ben, about uh, this transfer of wealth uh, that we're going to begin to see, and I believe it's going to be transfer of wealth that's going to take place. Because one thing about the text in Isaiah 22 and 22, the key holder not only had access to the king's uh, chambers, but he also had access to the king's treasury. And so we're going to begin to see that not only the heavens are going to open up financially for those that are looking to acquire buildings and properties. And I see uh, in this our supernatural acquisition that is going to be released. And so, but also it's going to happen supernatural. I mean, miracles um, like we've never known is going to begin to take place through this, uh, this convergence of leadership and this emergence of leaders that's rising up. So the Lord said, get ready, because in this season of locking, I'm not only just opening doors, but I'm also even opening the heavens. And I even heard the Lord says even to tell some of you that even as the doors were shut, God said, you're going to be key that is going to open the heavens and you're going to be the one that I'm going to use, says the Lord, that's going to be instrumental to release this wealth transfer that God wants to release in the earth so that things will take place and we're going to see an acceleration. So the Lord said, this will be the season of divine access, a season of divine access. And so we're going to sense a burden from heaven. As the heavens are open, there's going to be such a burden because even as the key was laid upon the shoulders of Elikim, he sensed a burden. So there is going to be a charge from heaven and there's going to be such leaders that's going to rise and say, I am going to be key to what heaven wants to release because heaven is pregnant and I believe you're going to be key to what God wants to release in the earth, says the Lord. My gosh, I love that word, man of God. Listen, you are key to what God is doing, which means you are the missing piece. You watching right now. And let me tell you, I love that word because everything rises and falls on leadership. 
And of course, right now, uh, you know, so many great men of God have passed, right? TB Joshua, Dr. Yogi Cho, Billy Graham, Evangelist Reinhardt. So there is a shift, which means there's a new breed rising up. And let me tell you, I mean, in the next 10, 20 years, uh, the face of Christianity, even in America, I mean, people are saying it's turning to progressivism or modernity. But listen, there is a true remnant of the remnant that's rising that wants Jesus and nothing else. And that is what this is about. And these true leaders are going to rise up as men and women of God, as it was in the days of Judges. So I love that word because I believe God is releasing graces and anointings on people in this generation, the nameless, the faceless as the great late prophet Bob Jones and Papa Paul came prophesied about. And I believe everybody on this broadcast is part of that emerging leadership by the grace of God. Amen. And I'm so glad both of you, uh, you know, Dr. Hakim Naim, the twin prophets. I mean, there's such an unusual grace there, a beautiful brand. So blessed to have the both of you. I feel like there's a packaging anointing God is releasing in this conference, which I love. Of course, we have Dr. Roberts Liardin joining as well, the author, founder of God's General, an incredible man of God. But uh, also we have Prophet Jesse and Amy Shant. My goodness, I mean, Prophet Jesse, you and I, I feel like we've been in covenant for a number of years. Of course, I love your brother, Prophet Charlie, your whole family. Uh, but, you know, this time we have the blessed honor, privilege of having your wonderful anointed wife, Prophetess Amy Shant. So God bless you both. We're so blessed to have the both of you. What is God saying, sharing? to you in this hour for this year. Talk to us real quick. Yes, Prophet Ben, I'm so excited for Open Heavens. It's going to be such a powerful event. I know there's going to be miracles, signs, and wonders that take place. And what the Lord is speaking to me this season is there's an anointing that is being released upon businesses for God to prosper the entrepreneur, for God to prosper businesses to raise up uh, the entrepreneur. There is the economy of heaven that's being released this season, and we need to get under the spout of what God is releasing. And it's going to be in this conference, my goodness, it, there's gonna be such an impartation that's released where people are going to begin to walk in the double blessing. It's Isaiah 61, the double portion is the blessing that God is releasing this season. Right. And what the Lord is doing is he is knitting together prophets. He's knitting together together prophetic company, eagles, and he's causing us to rise up and soar into the blessing. But we need eyes to see, to soar into the blessing. Yeah. Not everyone will follow you into the blessing, but as we arise and shine, the glory of the Lord will be seen upon us. So there's a separation happening this season where God is bringing a distinction of uh, authentic and counterfeit. And God is releasing pure moves of the spirit. Pure revival is being birthed in the earth. There's a pure move of the prophetic that the Lord is releasing. And God's raising up prophetic voices like never before yes. but there is a wealth transference that's happening it's the economy of heaven we're beginning to walk in the economy of heaven where blessings begin to just manifest everywhere that we go but there's a divine connection there's a knitting together god is strategically placing prophets together prophetic people together for such a time as this and, you know, the Lord's been speaking to Jesse and I, even for the past two years, about the season that we're coming into now. And um, something that the Lord put on my heart to share during the conference is a series of dreams that I've had over the past two years. Um, the most recent of those being a very sobering dream for the year 2022. But at the same time, the Lord has been speaking to Jesse about uh, Jesse and I about a company, a remnant that the Lord is raising up in this hour for the billion soul harvest. Yes. And he's written just as Jesse's sharing about um, business owners and the Lord is pouring out a, a um, an anointing for 
financial provision and for acceleration in the area yes. of business, I believe that God is raising up Joseph's that even mm. as we might come into maybe a time of famine, um, Joseph was was warned about the famine ahead of time. And not only did God anoint him um, and, and cause him to be favored during a time of famine and to prosper during the famine, but also to be able to bless and help prosper mm-hmm. other people. And I really believe that God is raising up um, a remnant of fire carriers and of Joseph's that are going to be able to, no matter what happens in this nation or the nations of the world, that they are blessed coming and blessed going, and they're Come able on. to bless others others mm. um in the body of christ as well and so i really believe that that's what the lord is doing in this season and you know we're, we're so blessed to walk in the favor of the lord and i believe god is pouring out his favor because listen the darker it gets the brighter the church of jesus christ yes. is going to shine yes wow praise god you know uh of course mm. the God always associates glory kavod, uh, which is a uh, Dr. Naim Hakim's brand. Uh, you know, a little input right there. But the glory always kavod means wealth, right? It means substance, heaviness, authority, substance, wealth, or the vast power, like an army, like a military. And uh, as the glory begins to come forth, the wealth always comes. I mean, you look at uh, Haggai chapter two. The Bible says there will be shaking in the nations. And then the treasures will come and Mm -hmm. he will fill his house with glory and the glory of the latter will be greater than the former. And that's what's happening right now. There's a shaking, but the greater glory is coming. And as the greater glory comes, there's going to be treasures. And the Bible says the gold is mine, the silver is mine. It's all mine, which means it stands for possession and ownership. God's breaking off the spirit of rent. He's breaking off the spirit of rent from the church. Mm -hmm. We're meant to own. We're meant to possess. We're meant to conquer. We're meant to be the lender, not the borrower, which is what you said, woman of God, that Joseph was a lender. He was the head. I mean, so it's incredible because right now there is a distinction and separation being made because we believers are meant to prosper and thrive like never before. The pandemic, scandemic, none of this nonsense is going to touch us because we are Goshen glory zones. You know, when COVID happened, I never closed down my church, not one day, one service. We met even more. We gathered in the spirit of revival even more. And everybody in the church prospered even more. I mean, it's incredible. Every business, a part of the church prospered even more. Come on, somebody. And that's what happens. We are Goshen glory zones. Even though all of Egypt is being judged with plagues and pestilence, not you. The Bible says, Psalm 91, no pestilence plague will come near your dwelling place, your tent, your family. So that's what's, that's what's happening. It's the kavod, it's the covering, the banner, Jehovah Nisi. It is the tent, it is the wineskin that God's created right now. So are you under the covering, the abode of the glory of God? Now, I love what you're saying, Prophet Jesse and Prophet Amy. It seems like there's so many similarities that we're all talking about right now. And mm-hmm. uh, because there is a greater thing coming and happening, Okay, and I know in this conference, there's not only an impartation, but there's an activation for a reformative anointing. I love revival. Okay, we just had a three month revival last year in New Mexico with the Navajo Nation, but it has to go from revival to reformation. And I believe God is raising up Nehemiah in this hour. You know, right now we are in the process of building a company business. Okay which is around cryptocurrency, blockchain, and NFTs, okay? Now, all of you watching, don't tell nobody, but I believe Dr. Hakeem Naeem, the prophet, Jesse, Miss Amy, I believe you you are supposed to be a part of this. And let me tell you, even in the last few weeks, okay, I don't dream because I'm not an old man, right? I have visions because I'm a young man, according to Joel chapter two, right? But the last three weeks since the beginning of the new year, I don't know if it's the new hair, I don't know what it is, but I've been having dreams. I mean, my goodness, multi-million dollar dreams, you know, uh, this business, the glory coin dreams. I mean, we're going to create a glory coin and a glory company. This is a secret. Please, nobody say this. Otherwise, you'll get a letter from my lawyer. But I'm saying all this 
because God is bringing people together to be futurists and to be pioneers of the next wave. Something's coming. The more's coming. The next thing's happening. And we have to be in all spheres, spectrums of society. And I believe right now this conference is going to change your life. I want you to register at BenlamGlobal.com, okay? All right, pretty much we're all millennials here on this broadcast. Uh, our other speaker, Dr. Robert Lee Harden, as a father, as a general of the faith, he's going to be there. We have Natasha Hen, Pastor Benny Hen's daughter. She is our, currently our worship director at our church, and her and the team are going to be releasing worship and the atmosphere for this car. I mean, you cannot miss out on what God's doing. My goodness, let me tell you, Prophetess Amy Shamp is going to be there. My goodness, she's going to be laying hands, releasing the lioness roar anointing. My goodness, come on, the Amy Simple type of grace. Prophet Jesse, you already know the Shamps. My goodness, you already know the twin prophets. Listen, you need to come. If you want to see your business prosper, you want to go to the next level, come on. We need the more of God to step into the next season. And let me tell you, not too many people are doing conferences like this anymore. Everyone is masked down, shut down, six feet apart, whatever. But not too many people are doing something like this. This is an unusual conference gathering. I know it by the Spirit of God. You need to register. You need to come drive in, fly in, crawl in, swim in, teleport in. Whatever is your mode of travel, come, people of God, come. Dr. Akeem, any last words, your man of God? My goodness. Yes, I want to just say this. We're also in a time of global reset, but we're also in the time of the double. And I believe there's going to be a, a double portion that's going to be released upon a generation. I love what our prophetess Amy said, that even Joseph, Joseph was put, repositioned by God as second in command over Egypt and over the wealth. And I believe that the economy of heaven is being released and it's going to drop not only in just uh, Southern California, but those who were registered online, those who were watched uh, virtually, you need to be in the place, you need to be in the space because God is going to uh, create a space called Rehoboth for you. He's going to make room for you. This is a time where there's going to be a double portion that is released upon those who are hungry. And I believe this is just a season where God is shifting you like Joseph. He's going to reposition you and he's going to give you the key to be key and influential um, in your uh, region, territory, and, and, and in the season. Also, I heard the Lord say while our prophetess uh, Amy and Jesse and my brother was speaking and you, Pastor Ben, I heard the word affluence. There's a difference between influence and there's a difference between affluence. And I believe there's an anointing of, of influence and affluence. And affluence is connected to wealth. And I believe in this season, as you get connected and you come together, you're going to experience unusual, supernatural provision and clarity and understanding like never before. This is the season of the double portion mantle being released and recalibrated to be um, into what God has called you to do in this season. My goodness, if I had a shoe to throw, I would. But, you know, I have to be professional here. You know, I mean, the word of God says, 2 Chronicles 20, 20, believe in God and his prophets and you will be established and prosper. It doesn't say you will come to poverty or sickness. You will be lame. You will be stuck in bed. No, you will prosper. And you will be established. So this is a prophetic clarion call in Southern California, the home of the greatest moves of God from the Jesus people movement, the renewal from Amy Simple, from the Healing Voice revival, from a YWAM being birthed to Azusa Street revival. This is the place for you to be. My goodness. Dr. Naeem, any last words you have on your heart, on your spirit, man of God, please. Yes, it was such a powerful release of what God was just sharing over this broadcast. And again, we want to invite all of you to meet us there uh, in Southern California. Listen, God is doing something new. And even as um, Prophet Jesse and um, Prophet uh, Amy and my brother, and even as you have shared, because what is really was powerful and profound as it pertains to Joseph, and because we know that Joseph was key, and the Bible declares that Joseph saved his posterity, future generation. And so I want to say to you that you have to meet us in 
Southern California because I believe that God is not just releasing mantles, but the Lord is also releasing keys. You just got to get in the room. And so the Lord says, I'm going to give you keys to rooms. And so there's some things that we've been praying about and asking God to do. But the Lord said, even according to Isaiah 22 and 22, that he gave the keys to a man. And so he says, whatever you open, no man shall shut. And whatever you shut, no man shall shut close and or open. And so the Lord is saying in this season that I put the keys into your hands. And so that means you don't have to ask for permission because permission was granted by the keys that was released. So get ready because meet us there because God is going to release keys and there's going to be transfer as well because there is a room that God wants you to occupy until he come. And so in this season, get ready because what people need is already locked up in you. So get ready because this is a season where God is unlocking and God's going to use you as an instrument for people to be blessed in this hour my goodness i am just getting hit with the holy ghost right now because you know this this is a time right now where god is releasing keys of authority oh and uh you know keys stand for access anointings and authority and uh this is so powerful because you are meant to be a gatekeeper a door opener for somebody else this is so powerful i'm getting so hit with the with the glory of god prophet jesse Miss Prophetess Amy Sham, talk to us. Why is this conference important? Why do they have to register, be connected to this grace? Why is this important? Talk to us. Oh my goodness, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be life changing. This is going to be high level impartation that you are going to receive from coming to this event, and I sense such an open heaven even on this broadcast and we know the heavens are open but there are those places yeah. there are those spaces that god fills with his glory and his his power and there is a there's a remnant rising right now in our nation america there's a true remnant rising of people that will walk in the glory of people that are going to move in the glory and I just sense an open heaven, even as Samuel had an open heaven in a company of prophets, and he spoke to Saul, when you come to the hill of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord is going to come upon you and you will be turned into another man. Some of you are going to come to this conference and you're going to get in this glory. This is a glory you haven't experienced before, and you are going to get wrecked in the presence of God. Yeah. You're going to have miracles manifest in your life. Yes. It's going to be powerful. Do not miss this event. Yes. Do not miss this event. And, you know, Jesse said that he's going to prophesy over every single person at this conference. So I just want to throw that out there. I am. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But he is. we are going to be prophesying. We're going to be laying hands. We're going to lay hands um, on everyone. We're expecting the miraculous. And I also want to encourage everyone, even though um, Dr. Roberts is not on this broadcast, but there is such a weighty mantle that he carries and jesse and yes. i have personally received so much from his ministry and this is someone that has you know yes. been around some of the greatest um men and women of god generals and he carries something so weighty um from just previous mm -hmm. generations of, of generals and revivalists and it's definitely something that you're gonna want to experience and sit under his ministry and receive that impartation for yourself. Yes. Yeah. My goodness, I want everybody just stretch out your hands towards our friends watching right now. Lord, I thank you. She the fire of God. And I thank you right now for the tangible grace anointing that you're catching them up in the spirits. Come up here, says God. For I have opened up an effectual door for you. It is mm -hmm. written in the blood of Jesus. And manuscripts and scrolls are opening up for your favor. God, I thank you for the Esther call anointing and for the honor that Mordecai has received. Lord, I thank you for the prophetic promises that are about to be unlocked and fulfilled in this combustive atmosphere of the fire, the power, and the glory of God. And Lord, we come into agreement as men and women of God. We come into agreement right now. 
and we speak into your spirit and into your bloodline, into your soul, to the atmosphere that's all around you. And I command the blessings of God to flow that favor, oil, grace, honey, the dew, the matter of heaven will fall upon your life like never before. God, I ask you for the rain right now. In the name of Jesus, we stretch out our hands towards you and we come in agreement. It's done. It's finished. Get ready for the next level. No devil, no witch, no Jezebel can stop it. And you'll be the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Praise God. Men of God and women of God, I can't wait for us to come together here at Open Heavens Prophetic Voice. This is our first conference of the year. And let me tell you, like I said, I am so selective about who I bring around me, who I bring together in conferences, because it has to flow. I don't want the fake, phony, conference, religious feel. I'm not part of a cult. I'm not a sectarianism. All right, but something happens when we're able to flow, and I know, my goodness, when you come, when we all come together, get ready. My mm -hmm. Get ready. Dr. Hakeem Naeem, Prophet Jesse, Miss Prophetess Amy Shack, God bless you. I love you so much from the bottom of my heart. Listen, everybody watching right now, register today. BenLimGlobal.com. You need to fly in. You need to swim. Come on, whatever you got to Get in here, get your mom, your grandma, get your dog, leave your cats at home. You need to come ASAP, all right? We're, uh, it's coming up very soon. Open Heavens, Prophetic Voices in Southern California. My goodness, your life will never be the same again. Make sure you share this, you register. I love you. This is Dr. Ben Lim with Dr. Hakeem and Naeem Collins, the twin prophets, incredible authors of so many books that people, more books they've authored than people have read in their lifetime. And Prophet Jesse and Amy Shamp, the incredible power duo couple. And is your host, friend, or your enemy, Dr. Benlam. I love you. God bless you. Thank you, men and women of God, for coming, joining us together. We can't wait to see you at Open Heavens Prophetic Voices, February 9th and 13th. God bless you, and ciao. Peace.